These two have a long storied history, and currently, well, things are looking pretty good for Armada, but not by too much. It's 8 2 7. So, again, loser semis, two out of three. These guys faced off at Apex 2010, Pound 5, Genesis 2, Apex 2012, Smashers Reunion, all the way in Europe, Apex 2013, last year at Evo, and Skatar 3. So, again, you're seeing some of the finest in the world here on display at Evolution. 2014 here at the Westgate in Las Ve Vegas, Nevada. Thank you very much to all you guys who are already tuning in. Make sure you hashtag Evo 2014. Let's go straight into the match. Thank you, Nintendo. And PPMD. And the funny thing, let me tell you, a lot of Falco mains don't really like this matchup because Peach can just float over the lasers, and there are a lot of times that Peach can just disrupt the combo with her neutral airs, her back airs, right. which you already are seeing from Armada. Yep, and you kind of negate some of Falco's amazing neutral game when you do get rid of the lasers. And the punish game that Peach has on him is basically... Falco has an astounding punish game on most of the cast. It's kind of not as quite as good against Peach, but Peach has a phenomenal one on him, so it's very, very difficult. As you can see right here, an opportunity, but PPMD messing up the recovery. Armada will take that. Completely wrong angle. Gotta get this kid a protractor. And here we go, the good spacing. That jab. If oh, Armada, that shield is oh, done. Looking like, oh man, dare I say it. An m and and again, Whoa. shield drop. Oh, but dinner is served. Another opportunity. A pair of slaps. Didn't like what I was making. A whole harder in next time. But here you go. You see PPMD just going on these platforms. And we're seeing PPMD continue to go high, adjusting to Armada shield drops. He's floating over them. Very smart. Since a lot of players are using shield drops in, their, in the neutral game, you see players now try not to just hit their opponents when they're blocking on a platform. They'll just respect them. And PPMD with the weight, expecting the roll in. He got it, but the only guy to shine was able to get anything else afterwards. Will he be able to close the stock? And here's another reason why this matchup is not, any, not as easy for Falco as it is for Fox. If Fal Falco gets a grab, he can't really get guaranteed hits off of his grabs, unless Armada DIs inappropriately. Good job for PPMD finally shaving off one of Armada's stocks. Still with a one-stock deficit, though. He has again. a lot of work to do. He got to start it on a punish, but Armada, again, air dodging, get out of harm's way. And again, the shield drop came from Armada is something you have to be aware of. Now, we're going for the parasol out of shield now, which means that he knows that... Wow! Whoa, what a conversion. And I don't think he's going to be able no. to come back on stage. But yeah, the parasol out of shield instead of the, the nair out of shield, it means that Armada is definitely respecting the L cancel ability from PPMD. Of course, and another thing, with those uh, shield drops that you're gonna see from Armada, PPMD is probably gonna even space his aerials. It, so disengaging is not the only best thing he can do. Ooh, wow! Off oh, the top, shining bright like a diamond. And that PPMD seizes the lead. Yep, that combo was beautiful. Just like diamonds in the sky. Well, diamonds are forever. And we got three of them here in the EVO logo, and both of them want the three that are on that trophy. We'll see who's gonna take it. With both of these players They're vying for posi positioning here. PBMD doing way better now. The funny thing was, Armada had the lead. Good lasers, he tr I like this. So he tried to force Armada to recover high, and as Armada did recover high, his double jump, it's pretty easy to snipe out, you know, punish with a dare. So he immediately used the spot dodge to avoid that. Down aerial from PBMD. I wonder if Armada's going to start adapting to what PBMD is doing with the shield drops and just not go for it, just continue to shield, and then just nair out a shield backwards until PBMD is just flying over him and crossing him up. Oh, this is bad. Oh, oh it's a wrap. Oh, man. And PBMD puts his head back and starts cackling. We can't believe what just happened. Well, not quite a cackle, but it looked like it. Armada stole that one. But again, we're talking about the punish. Yeah, man, when you're Falco main, you have to be careful. You can't have your back to the edge, especially against a player like Armada, who is big on optimizing his punishes. If Definitely. he gets one hit on a character like Falco, he, it's lights out. You know, the neutral between the pair, fairly even, even though the laser game is negated, PPMD's movement, Using the platforms is definitely going to help him gain some of that ground back. But the punishes from both players 
EPMD, he gets these nicks here and there, but if Armada's able to nair out, or able to air dodge out, it makes it rough for him. Meanwhile, Armada's willing to cro carry him everywhere. 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 Literally. And especially the recovery game from Falco, not, not that good. No hitbox on the uh, upbeat, he wants to recover that way, so Armada just has a license to go out there and finish him off. And PPMD is ready to play, Armada rethinking everything. I like the fact that, uh, I'm not sure if it's PPMD that's deciding to take a breather. It's probably trying to kill his momentum. You see a lot of pro players use that nowadays. Mm. Armada probably has a lot of momentum. We'll see if this tactic will work well here in the second game. Are these guys going to go straight into it? All right, so actually, Armada is thinking, and PBMD going straight for Marth, doesn't want to deal with this matchup, straight to Final Destination. I like the fact that he decided to go to Marth on this stage because he can get potentially chain King grabbed yep. into an Oblivion with Fox. Or with Falco. But, uh, you know, we've seen that Falco actually from Armada as well. But it's going to be tough because we know that these two have faced off like this at Apex. Oh no! Bombs on deck! Oh no! Oh my gosh! Bombs over back down! Yeah! Woo. I can't believe it. What a way to open up game two. That was an explosive start. This guy. Such good spacing. And this, this is the thing about Armada. Peach, even though Peach is a high tier character, every time Peach pulls out a turnip. He can potentially get a really good one that can just allow him to get that one stock lead for free. Right. Whether it's a stitch face, whether it's a beam sword, whether it's a Mr. Saturn to do a lot of damage on shields. Man, this just might be it for PPMB. Let's see what adjustment he's going to make mid-match. You no, know, usually we're used to seeing Armada being really, really cognizant of PPMB using the first hit of the sword dance and an object of KO. But we're not seeing any of that yet from PPMB. Uh, I'm guessing at this point he really doesn't want to go into it because he, uh, Armada's been really, really good at Smash DIing it up and away so that up tilt is not connecting. True. He might even just be saving it for the right time. I mean, there's no time at the presence, especially, again, two out of three. You're down right now, and you're down to stock. Yep, You've got to do big things now. Might as well make it happen. And the forward tilt. Okay, he gets the sweet spotted back air, but not enough. Oh. PBMD a little too close there. Yeah, misspaced. Yep, good flow cancel there. One of Peach's best um, get off of me moves in shield. You know, and again, we're seeing that he's going for that option against Marth, not against Falco. There it is. He finally has the opportunity. Goes for the side B up tilt, but Armada with amazing DI. Oh, he, he knew the roll was going to happen, but he's a little too early. You know, one thing I always notice from Armada when he's coming down from high, he's more privy to coming down with attack if he's coming down from extremely high. If he's close to the ground, he's more likely to air dodge. Good observation. And he finally gets the well-placed side B to up tilt. All right, here we go. Back in neutral, the projectile is out. That was really smart by Armada. Getting that turnip makes it really tough for Marth in this matchup to close the distance yep, between and him and Peach. That's one thing that PBMD is certainly cognizant of. He wants to stay close where if, he, if Armada is looking to grab a turn like that, he is in a position to punish. But sometimes he's there, sometimes he's not. Oh, he drops the turn in mid combo. Here's another opportunity. Good, DI out of that. Oh, he's in a bad position. Double jump gone. Manages to get back on stage unscathed. Whenever Armada has a turn up in hand, he can get a free grab. Oh, that was a clean four smash, but not quite a tipper. He's going to get it there. Ooh, nice. Yes, he does. All right, PPMD is keeping it close to stocks each, but that 81% deficit could be a problem. Armada might be just going for trades at this point. I don't blame him at this point. You're going to win the battle of attrition if you're Peach. And here, PPMD not even going for neutral airs to cut through the turnips. He can't slice through it, but if he's too close, Armada could attack him if he misspaces it. Exactly. But again, he's not letting him through. We got this wall of turnips. And it's gone, another one. KPMD might be on his last stock, but he's got to do some soul searching. Yeah, this could be it. Nice DI again. Down and away. <gasps> the dare! But wait. Armada is back. Here we go. Avoiding these turnips. Good job by PBMD just full jumping over them, but Armada this time gets up with the dash attack as he tries to go to the air. And you see Armada always thinking, where's PBMD? Where's PBMD? Right of time to grab a turn. 
No, I don't. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and throw out a back air to keep him zoned away. And maybe I'll get a turn of back Oh! Nice conversion! We are not done yet. PBMD says I'm on Evil Geniuses for a reason. I am one of the favorites. You are too, but hey, I want to prove that I'm better than you on this day. Oh man, that would have been a chain of fares off across the stage. But the DI by Armada is just so consistent, so on part. Here's PPMD's potential last stop. He's still here. Wave dashing in and out. He's in the air. Who? Okay. Armada, again. It is definitely not over yet, like somebody is yelling in the crowd. Is he going to air dodge? The roll in. He wants to get this hit. And again, you oh. can see the fear. The second team has been exhausted. <gasps> oh, and that shield was so important. He, he dashes through. He misses the tech chase. He gets another grab. Which way is he going to at now? He gets the Nair. Okay, good respect. Forward smash. The trade, Dragon Ball Z. Both players getting sent on both sides. But they're back in the fray. And again, he's trying to poke him out. Just keep him at that max range. Oh. Until, oh, not enough. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Up, up and away, but not yet. And again, another trade. We see the back air that time. Power shield. He's beating a lot of... Oh, oh he's off stage. That's how you punish it. Burns the double jump. He avoids the turnip. And that is it. Armada lives on. Armada is in losers finals. <sighs> wow. PPMD, fourth place. Last year, Armada got that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the top three here for Evolution 2014 here in the West Gate is going to be Mango. Representing Cloud9. Hungry Box. Playing for Team Curse. Those two will be facing off in winners' finals. And Armada.